Welcome back to the broadcast. This Thursday, North Texans will get the chance to see a new film detailing some pretty amazing acts of heroism, hope, and inspiration. It all stems from something that happened during the incredible sorrow of the Holocaust, and it is something that gave people hope in the face of true darkness. Dr. Sarah Abosh is telling us, is joining us now to tell us more. And so this is, what has this project meant to you? What, what spurred the inspiration for it? This was truly exceptional. Um, the project focuses on Albanians. Uh, in this particular instance, it's Albanian Muslims. And what's remarkable about this is that Albania is this tiny little country in Europe. It starts the war with 200 Jews resident. It ends the war with 2,000 Jews resident. So wow. it's the only country in Europe in the midst of the Holocaust that picks up Jewish population. And they pick them up by offering them refuge. It's, it's really remarkable. How do they protect them? They protect them by making them members of their family. Uh, by hiding them in plain sight, as we say. They make them cousins. They make them relatives. The government of change Albania... Their names and, yeah. They change their names. The government of Albania actually gives them documents. So the government itself is in the process uh, of doing this. And what they use to really make this kind of hit home is an ancient Albanian cultural and ethical code called BESA. And BESA really means to keep a promise. And when you give your BESA, you give your word, you will give up your family's lives before you will go back on what you said. And so the Jews are given BESA. And once that BESA is given, it can't be revoked. It's really a remarkable, remarkable That's thing. That's fantastic. That and yeah. is, that, is that still something that exists in the Albanian yes, culture today? Yes, it's something that exists in Albanian culture today. It predates Islam. It predates modernity. They think it goes back as far as possibly the Bronze Age. I mean, this is an ancient, ancient code that has stayed fairly unchanged within Albanian culture until today. That's fascinating. Yeah. You know, you hear a lot of, of the stories surrounding the Holocaust. This is one that I've never heard before. It was one, honestly, that I had never heard before either. And in my role uh, at the museum of attempting to both teach the Holocaust and at the same time to teach the moral and ethical responses to prejudice and hatred and indifference, I'm always looking for special exhibits that will help us to bring that message home to Texas and particularly to Texas students. And I came across this exhibit and and I read it once, and I read it a second time. I said, we've got to bring this in. This is really a remarkable, remarkable story. So I think we have some photos, but tell us about the exhibit and then about the film. OK. So the exhibit uh, consists of a whole series of black and white photos done of some of the people who gave this BESA, and sometimes it was the children of the parents who gave BESA, taken by a gentleman named Norman Gershman, uh, who was a um, photographer who, who got involved in this whole project. It's a beautiful, beautiful exhibit in black and white. Uh, the movie itself, BESA the Promise, uh, is about the story of one of the children of somebody who helped hide Jews and his attempt to keep his father's deathbed base of promise. And it, it crosses continents. It goes from Albania to Israel. It brings in an American. It brings in Israelis. It brings in Albanians. It's a fascinating story. And it's really heartwarming, too. Is it a full-length feature uh, film? It's a film that takes a little over an hour. Um, so it's not it's not a two-hour spectacular or anything like that. But the production values are like you would see at a normal movie theater. So, Do you hope that there's a movement that started with this where BESA becomes something that everyone embraces. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Absolutely. I mean, I think of kids on kind of sand lots playing baseball where you used to spit in your hand and shake. Yeah. And, you know, that like was your word and your, yeah. Yeah, your bond. <laughs> but this is the real world equivalent of this, and this is something that crosses centuries. Uh, it's, in fact, it crosses millennia. And I think we as Americans, we always talk about our word as our bond. and. It's not just that they give their bond, it's what they give their bond for. They give their bond for life-protecting reasons. And it's, it's wow. really something that I would love to see us emulate as well. It's fascinating and I think so important for kids to go see yeah, the exhibit absolutely. and see the film. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. Telling Thank us you. about it and good luck with it. Uh, once again, you can see BESA, A Code of Honor, this Thursday at the Dallas Holocaust Museum. It's located on Record Street. The screening starts at 6.30. Um, for information, just go to dallasholocaustmuseum.org. And when the broadcast returns, it's tips on how to spruce up your home decor with spring in mind. Michael shares ideas on faux flower arrangements. Don't go away.